All right, your hot side pipe is installed. Running all the way down. Comes through into my intercooler, which is no longer an interfooler. I am fully hooked up now. So the hot pipe comes up. Takes a nice little J bend right there. Little S curve. Um, got a 1.75 uh, to a two and a half inch coupler. And then it's two and a half inch piping the rest of the way through. It's bolted in, solid. You got just enough of clearance, you have to remove the hard lines. So um, I pulled out a lot of the uh, emissions components and the uh, all the vacuum lines going to that. So the the big line, vacuum line, still going to go to the intake for the idle air control valve. The smaller one we have capped off. And then the line coming off of the valve cover is just going to be freely open venting. Um, it went back to the intake anyway, so it went back to the atmosphere, so it doesn't matter. A couple oil drops might drop out every once in a while. You could catch can it if you wanted to. Uh, but otherwise... The hot pipe is good. It's installed. Looks like we got a lot of clearance. Everything looks like it's good. Reposition this clamp here. Normally it was over this way, so that pulls the harness up. Igniter will go back over top. Or we might mount it up over here. We'll see how we can do when we get the top pipe in. So, bottom pipe is in. Now we'll put the top in. All right, so the cold side pipe is now installed. Everything's fully, fully bolted up. Idle check was good. I'll start it up here in a minute and let everybody hear it. But everything is looking great. Jeffrey over here is the one who did all the welding. He's gonna be the one hooking everybody up in the Y32 world because we don't have these. So, should be one of the first ones in the States with a full intercooler setup. No more interfooler. It is legit. Fully hooked up. I got the Turbo XS H. Really fucking loud blow off valve. So it definitely shoots out a lot of air. We'll start her up here in a few minutes and check it out. So basically I got uh, a two and a quarter to two and a half couplers. Uh, straight one here. Here we did a uh, 90 bend one. So it's a, it's a two and a quarter to two and a half 90 bend. And it's two and a half piping the rest of the way, all the way through. Um, Basically, goes down. Everything underneath the car was all made with a universal kit. So, by getting these pipes fabbed up, you can buy a universal kit with the pipes I'll say you need. And I'll tell you what couplers. And you can hook up the bottom yourself, make your cut, have your pipe pop through and basically install these two buy the couplers and then be ready to roll all right next up start and running here just blow off valve all right just started it up this is uh sitting there at idle idle is fine like i said i got uh, one of the vacuum lines off of the idle air control valve is blocked off. The other one is hooked up to the intake. So that's pulling the vacuum to keep it under idle correctly. If that one is off, it definitely does not idle right. Figure that out. Um, like I said, I deleted all the hard lines for a lot of that crap to get this to fit in. And I previously rerouted a lot of my uh, vacuum lines before. So. I have deleted my emissions canister. You do have to either relocate or delete your uh, well, windshield wiper reservoir. Um, as you can see, I have actually removed my wipers. One, I live in Arizona. Two, it's a show car. 
so rain is not uh, really a thing for me. So there's my uh, Optima battery. It's not actually the battery that would be made for this. Um, I had a battery sitting around. I didn't feel like ordering a different one. I already had a bracket sitting around. So I just uh, retrofitted it. I actually got a circuit breaker on the back side. Um, there's my oil filter relocation because changing the oil in these cars really suck. And then it's got the uh, oil cooler right down there, trans cooler on this side, intercooler, no more intercooler. Pipe comes out right there. Didn't have to cut anything. Just cut your bumper. Plenty of clearance. It's solid, it is not moving. And here's what everybody wants to hear is this really fucking loud blow off valve. So here we go, ready? Vents out nicely, returns the idle pretty good. So uh, I'll keep an eye on it. I might have to add a couple more springs. Um, I'll end up putting a filter here. That one ended up going back to the intake, so it's really not needed. Uh, it could vent to the atmosphere, which you're venting back into the intake is atmosphere anyway, technically. So good to go. Interfooler no more. See my underglow is on. Car is coming along awesomely. All right. If you have any questions, hit me up.